Hello everyone, welcome to Tasha and Veer. This is Tanisha Sharma for you out here. And today we will discuss about something which has been asked by most of my top mate clients and which has also been requested by a lot of people uh, via LinkedIn and on some of my comments on my previous YouTube videos. And today we are going to talk about pandas, right? Just uh, like I had covered a video uh, talking about all of the important questions and topics and the types of interviews that one can have within SQL and I received a lot of you know great response on it. I hope it reaches to more and more people and for that I'm going to attach this video to my card up here and let's begin with what all the topics that you need to cover uh, you know within Python and specifically under Pandas. What are the types of interview questions that one can be asked uh, for both the roles, for the role of a data scientist as well as for the role of a data analyst. Now without wasting any further time, let's get started. Okay, so before I move on, first of all I am going to talk about all the important usage and the industry wide applications that Pandas has. So Pandas in itself guys is a very, you know, fast, uh, it, it's, it's a very uh, powerful library. It provides fast analysis. It has high industry applications. For me, in both of my internship and full-time roles, I have used Pandas and NumPy extensively in a lot of data manipulation and in achieving a lot of things. While I was, you know, automating a few processes or I, while I was performing ED on important data sets, I have used Pandas a lot. And trust me, this is something which is really important for you to cover in all of your interviews for both of these roles. Right, so uh, now I'm also going to talk about a few prerequisites that you would need in order to prepare pandas. So the first one is, guys, you need to be well versed with the official Python documentation. So this will not be covering any, uh, you know, high uh, level libraries as such, but this is really important for you to, you know, cover uh, the basic Python, all of those important modules, all of those important topics like control flow statements or errors and exceptions, data structures within Python. For all of these, right, a lot of my clients are like, uh, how can I, you know, start running ML? How can I start learning DL? How can I skip ML and learn DL? But trust me, uh, there is a certain flow that you need to uh, be well versed with and for that, uh, you need to cover Python and for uh, you know reaching out to or start using any library immediately you need to cover the official Python documentation. I have had a print out of it and I read it whenever I have time so just so that I haven't missed out on any important topic uh, you know that is being covered in this official documentation. So guys official Python documentation is a very important prerequisite for you. The second prerequisite that you would be needing is uh, some basic mathematical knowledge. And when I say basic, is up to 10 standard of mathematical knowledge, which should be covering your linear algebra, your matrices, your, um, uh, uh, you know, basic stats, all of these important mathematical operations that are already covered in your 8, 9, 10 standard. This is more than enough for you to be well versed with pandas on an end-to-end -end level. So without wasting further time, let's get started and the flow of this video now is going to be me talking about each and every feature that Pandas has and within that feature what all topics that you need to cover and what all questions you can face in your interviews. So the first one is something very simple, working with text data. So uh, guys, within Python, whenever you are working with text data, uh, it's mo it will mostly be an you know, unstructured form of data, which is not in the form of a table or a data frame. So you should be knowing how to play around with strings, how to form string concatenation, string manipulation, uh, you know, white space removal, uh, replace methods, string replace methods, dot replace. So all of these functions will be really important for you when you're working with string data. Just text based data. The next feature is the objects or the two important data structures that pandas provide. The first one is a series. It's a one dimensional data structure that provided by pandas and the next is data frame which is a two dimensional structure or a 2D data structure which is provided by pandas. So you should be well versed with these two data structures. You should be knowing how to play around with these, how to view them, how to, you know, performing various data manipulation, which I'll be covering in my later, in the later part of my video. Third feature is 
you know, viewing data, right? So once you've, uh, you know, read uh, any of your files, so before I move ahead with that, we all know that pandas uh, support a lot of files, uh, be it CSV, Excel, Parquet, JSON. So it has a very good file handling, uh, you know, built-in structure within pandas. And you should be knowing how to view the data. Those basic uh, manipulations like, you know, viewing the head and tail of a data frame, uh, viewing a certain set of rows or columns. So this is a very basic thing that you should be knowing uh, when you are uh, uh, when you're working within Pandas. The fourth uh, feature of Pandas is uh, selection. Right? In order to select any particular row or column within a Pandas data frame, you should be well versed with the dot log functions or the dot log functions. You should also be well versed with uh, you know slicing your data frame uh, to meet various business needs. Not to perform various operations on that data frame, right? So in order to do that, you should be well versed with the dot apply function, which is heavily used in the industry. Uh, various functions you can perform on a data frame, right? Uh, how do you compute the mean or the mean absolute deviation or the standard error of uh, any numerical column in your data frame? Now, the next feature which I'm going to talk about is extremely important, which is data manipulation. So, in order to you know make sure that you can add a certain row or column, you can delete or truncate certain rows and columns. These things are very important for you to be well versed with. Also, you should also be uh, able to you know iterate over a certain row or a column value. Uh, whenever you know you'll find all of these in official uh, Python documentation, which will be covering pandas as well. You can find it in any geeks for geeks or normal uh, website. Or if you want me to cover all of these, then do let me know in the comment section. These uh, data manipulation techniques are very important, but are mostly missed out on by a lot of people while they are preparing for their data science or data analyst interview. Be able to deal with missing values, sort your values, perform merge, merges, joins, concatenation, and the most important topic within these is group by. Guys, group by has been asked to me by a lot of interviews. Like, you know, even if I am applying for any data scientist position or senior data scientist position, every interviewer tends to cover this topic. And it wouldn't be asked directly to you, obviously. They'll be asked, they'll be asking you this in the form of a business question that you know, now uh, within this data set, you can probably tell me the state-wise uh, mean uh, salary. Within group by, you should also be able to combine multiple columns uh, in group by with, uh, within a dictionary. And while you're doing a group by or any numerical column, you should also be able to perform various aggregations in that numerical column. For example, if you're group buying a uh, salary uh, on, uh, on any state, then you should be knowing what all aggregations can be done to that salary column. The key step of any EDA is the visualizations. Many people ask me, shall we cover Tableau or Power BI? Yes, that is also essential. But before jumping onto that, you should be knowing how to visualize a certain data set using Python libraries, right? So one can be uh, Matplotlib, which is a built-in library, and the other is Seaborn. So why I suggest you to also cover Seaborn is because it gives a little more visually compelling, uh, you know, graphs. Uh, the plots by Seaborn are a little more prettier, which can, you know, uh, be a little, which can work a little better for you while you are uh, presenting your uh, plots in your interview. So you can cover matplotlib and see one uh, within these visualizations. The date time functions within pandas. Um, the important reason behind you to cover this is that every uh, business data set that I've worked with within a company has always had a date time column, right? And you might you might be uh, you know needing to do a little bit of manipulations with that date time column, like it's extracting the year, the month, the date or any such day for to meet any sort of a business need, right? So you should be well versed to be very comfortable while you're working with date time columns within a data frame. I also wanted to highlight how that interview experience takes place. So probably you will be uh, something which I've already covered in my SQL video as well. So probably you will be asked by your hiring manager to share your screen with a Jupyter notebook. You will be given a data set on spot Right? And that hiring manager will ask you to share your screen with the Jupyter Notebook and perform an EDA uh, on that data set and highlight some key insights that you can see while you're performing an EDA on that data set. So this will require all the features that I'm covering right now from, you know, on an end-to-end -end basis from your uh, 
reading the file, to viewing the data, to working around with the columns, to performing various operations, to manipulations, and to finally drawing some insights based on some visualizations. So all these steps will be covered by me, and which should be, you know, uh, you should be well versed with all of these steps for you to prepare for a data science or a data analyst interview. So I have covered the uh, overall important features that pandas can serve and the important functions that you can learn within pandas to crack any Python data science or data analyst interview. Again, this video does not cover the hacker rank assessment links that you will be getting in the form of an interview, but it will be covering any sort of an EDA that might ask that might be asked to you by any interviewer doing an on-spot ED or any data set or this can also be really helpful for you while you are covering Pandas not only for any verbal questionnaire but also for any case study assignment that you can get for any uh, position. So I hope you liked my video if you found any of these Pandas feature or any of the you know high level important heads up information that I have given useful to you then please, please, please drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for hearing me out today. Have a good day. All the best.